now live. Okay, we're here for a stoop visit with Dino and Lindsay and the kids, Sage and Shiloh and Shane. And it's Blackout Tuesday, among other things. Um, and I wanted to ask specifically, Lindsay, about as a small business owner, a black owned business in Dumbo. Yeah, tell us about your business and what, uh, how it's going and then what, what is Blackout Tuesday about? Yeah, so I have a clothing boutique in Brooklyn in Dumbo, Glam Expressway. We sell really fun clothing, jewelry, and accessories. And it's been hard, you know, we opened up about two weeks ago in phase two when retail could open. And we've seen just like less than half of the foot traffic that we usually see. We usually have tourists and people that work in the neighborhood and people that live in the neighborhood. A lot of people have taken off. A lot of people are working from home. A lot of people are not traveling. So we're, and I'm not able to do the events that I would usually be having in the summertime. So now it's more about focusing online, but I am very excited about Blackout Tuesday. Um, I think that there are a hundred avenues or ways you can take for a revolution. And I think that now more than ever, people are becoming aware that there are racial inequalities um, and disparities, especially in this country because of the systemic racism. And I think people are agreeing now and seeing, yeah, it's a real thing. So real reallocating funds in that way. And for just, for people to be more conscious about where they're spending their money I don't think there's anything wrong with that and it's always a personal decision no one's forcing anyone to do it but you know if, if, if you're gonna buy something anyway and you want to be conscious about where you spend your dollar I think it's a good start to narrowing the gap you know I, I don't think it's ever going to be a solution but I think it's a small a step in the right direction and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it that's fantastic. That's fantastic. <laughs> what do you think, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about the movement overall? The Black Lives Matter mu movement finally sort of taking more center stage on I, a consistent basis? I love it. Uh, I think it's, well, not that I was part of the 60s, but from what I've learned, I think that it is, um, it's a resurgence of that. And I think this younger generation, um, they're coming together and they're realizing that, listen, we're, we're, we're all equal. We're all friends here. We all get along. Why, what, what's going on here with, this, with these racial injustices? Um, we, we've definitely uh, spoken to our kids about it, about it and let them be more aware of it and what's going on because they see mm. CNN, they see New York One all the time, and they're like, what's this about dad? What's this about mom? And we teach them. We let them know what's going on. And I'd love to see the white kids together, the black kids together, the brown kids, the yellow kids, all of them together, marching together for this Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, because it's not, it's, it's not a racial fight. It's a justice fight. It's not, it's not to divide. It's about everyone coming together for the greater good of us all. What was that? Can you repeat the last one? Yeah, no, I just think it's 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 not a racial thing. It's it's it's, it's about human rights and it's about everyone coming together for us all. That's you know, right. That's we've right. Taken our kids to <laughs> a couple protests. He agrees. He agrees. <laughs> yeah. What was that like? What do you guys want to Sage and Shiloh? Do you guys want to share what was it like to go to some protests? Yeah, it was like it was really big voice. Us together. You saw all the people together and cheering. Did you like that? Yeah. yeah. Fun walking. Fun walking with them? Yeah. 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 What do you think, Shell? Um, it was really fun because I got to see a bunch of my friends. And it was also fun holding up all the signs. Oh, awesome. What did you guys write? Do you remember what you wrote on your signs? Um, one of them was for Brianna Taylor. So it says yeah. justice for Brianna Taylor. And um, love comes in every color. Those are the ones that I remember. Love comes in 
Every color. Every color. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's awesome. You guys have anything else you want to share? This is just a quick little video visit, but. <laughs> Stop by yeah. Glam Express. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Support black businesses. Right. Tell tell them where it is. Oh, okay. Glam <laughs> Expressway is at 145 Front Street in Dumbo. We're also online. Come by. I would appreciate the love and the support. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, and Dino, do you want to say how your business has been affected? Or? Uh, yeah, well, my business has been affected really. I'm in the music business and it's been affected because there's no touring. There are no shows. There are no gatherings. So we really have to uh, utilize the, um, the online presence and using the TikTok apps and Instagram to get our artists out there and, you know, get the streams up because that's where the money is. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. And you're born and raised in Brooklyn, right? How I was bo born in Jamaica, but moved to Brooklyn when I was six and grew up in Brooklyn Heights. Yeah. Since 76. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Went to high school with you. <laughs> we did go to high school together. It's true. Um, Little, little, uh, I heard he was a DJ, just so you know. A DJ in high in school, college, in college, oh, that was a little later. I missed that. <laughs> I missed that anyway. It was so great to talk to you guys. Any, anything you want to add, kids? <laughs> Shane has something to say. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking to us. Yeah, this was awesome. Um, have a great day, and yeah, happy Blackout Tuesday. I hope lots of people. Don't spend money with businesses unless they are black owned. Awesome. <laughs> How's that? All right. Take All right. care, you guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. Um. <laughs>